Everywhere you look, there's something to be found. Take a look now. What do the things around you say about who you are? What you believe? How you engage with others? In storytelling, the smallest things may help us to understand the larger world, to understand a character, or to understand the nature of reality itself. Think you see the whole picture? Take a closer look. These are object lessons. to understand that tricks are exclusively for children. Is that correct? Well, I, I mean, they say uh, tricks are for kids in the commercials. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Violence is everywhere in our society, you know? It's like even in breakfast cereals, man. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. I have to fix Nikki's cereal. Hey, baby. Just working. Salad. She got me this, okay? Because I would always leave my cereal boxes open and the cereal would get stale. And so one day I came home and she had this waiting for me because it keeps my cereal fresh. And now I have the freshest cereal. Mr. 
cheese cereal? Okay! <laughs> I pity the poor fool who don't eat my cereal! <laughs> If Satan can get in there and get you to start your day off wrong, he's going to do it, trust me. And he's going to do it through breakfast cereal. Alphabets. No matter how old I get, always a culinary delight. The Talmud says, wherever you look, there's something to be seen. I always try to save a couple of the marshmallows till the very end, and I never make it. I always end up with a bunch of flake things and pink milk. My mind wanders. Cereal? Wow, where'd you guys get cereal? It's down here all along. Pantry's full of food. You guys don't know much, huh? I mean, I'd be asking all kinds of questions about all this stuff down here. You guys got any milk? 